What is good, guys? We're back with Dying Light. Let's get it. That's a good um, way to catch a bullet. Wish so, me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. So, oh, I just ran into. So we're going to see why he's. Don't shoot! He's... Don't shoot! I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. doesn't do anything. That asshole in the town? All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. Oh boy. Oh boy. These are the people that beat the mess out of me. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazine. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. You don't want that scary, bro. I can take this man on and kill him. Hey, y'all, I'll take that. What is it? Oh, well, hold on. I'll take that. Hold on. Just pick it up. Let's leave the save zone real quick. Didn't I already do that? Maybe not. I thought I did. Okay. There you are. Rice said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Um... So I'm not even sure if I'll even get it, and I'm still doing this. <laughs> Shit, you win it. So there's a possible chance I could get scammed, and I'm still Just doing it. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky, at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. <clears throat> Nothing better than being an errand boy. It ain't like, it ain't on the table. Damn, bro. Cause I would have taken that, but it's whatever. <laughs> Up there. What the hell is that? Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to f warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. 
In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Great. Crane out. It's probably not the best idea to be talking right in front of the building, but um, it's all right. I mean, I don't know why you would even talk right now. These things called nightmares for a run. What exactly am I doing? Move. Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. Oh, that's a big one. There's two big ones. Two big ones, as a matter of fact. And we ain't getting caught by those right now. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Um. Turn the lights back on. What? Excuse me, I didn't sign up to play with another dude. Like... Get out of here with all that, bro. I ain't doing that. I didn't even sign up for it. So, like, you. What the hell? Hey, <laughs> Why was he doing that? Yeah. Hey, you shouting? I'm shouting because this infected mother nuts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. On. There! Power's on! Good. Now head up to the top. Let's go. Someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. Really? It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer I is probably him. die horribly. He won't do nothing. Shut up. Not even that scary to be honest with you. I also saw the Walking Dead and he's a wannabe, um, one of those wannabe tough guys. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Grapple. It just said I could grapple. When you use, use a movement of attacking enemies and throw them around. Bruh. I thought it was like a grapple hook. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower. Yeah, the okay. fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei. And probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. Start you real quick. 18. One bolt. Hell yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Made it. Nah. They got gates everywhere, bro. I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rise? Yeah. You don't look like one of his crew. I'm oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. All right. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Please stop. What's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. Dad, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So be mad for them. That's okay, how do I get up there? That's the thing. Like... Think too much with your mouth, Christophe. Start using your head or you're going to get us both killed. Nah. This thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Finally. How? It's all right. We not that much else. It's all right. Raheem? The antennas. Brecken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without standing for the first time since... whatever. See you back at the tower. Bro, I thought he was gonna... Somebody who really wants to talk to you. Huh? 
Who? Is this Kyle Gray? Who wants to know? My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the M. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied Bruh. so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. Oh my god. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? Like this will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. My friend, Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? Uh, okay, I'll try. Probably not. You hear the job? Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. Well, I'm okay. Jafar? Oh, I'm still up. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Mm. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who act this here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Okay. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect the tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. game not understand that I don't want to play with people what does it not understand 
Bro, this game is stupid. It doesn't understand the concept of me not wanting to play. If I'm dropping out, change it to private. I don't even to change it to private because it takes a lot of load in, so no. Like, what is this game on, bro? I need really help right now. I do that. I'm actually doing a public game. Damn, bro. Water shouldn't kill me. Hell yeah. Forty-five. Right, I might dip from this game and like. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. Big bad, big bad. I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh my god, that's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Hey. Just tell them to go away. Do it nice and maybe he'll leave us alone. Better yet, send it to Gersel. He'll know what to do. Please, we don't know anything. Go talk to Gersel. He lives about this door. He lives he he lives where? I don't even know. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking tell him. Ila, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment. So you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine. Here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Hey. <laughs> okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go at the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry. There was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Okay. I was about to say, imagine like they just see a person sliding around outside like this. I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you bloodsuckers. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rye said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it going to take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the f*** out. And for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay. All right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. <laughs> If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Understand? I'll give you shelter. Imagine if they recognize me at the last moment and then they beat me to a pulp and then give it a task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Now, 
that our lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesin. He doesn't. I think not. What are you say? Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Anthazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. What? If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have the Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it would take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. Now forget it, I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Man, that's a funny dude. Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. <laughs> Do you have the answers in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but... Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now, we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. This is where we get the announcements about the Antacene drops. And they've just stopped. No cases! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the f***, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives, Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Don't drop me! Don't drop me! 
<laughs> See, told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Krim. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Well, you assholes take the f You know that? You and your f file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see y'all next time.